Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we got back Rock's Core Crystal from those snot-nosed brats who actually ended up not really being snot-nosed brats at all. We helped them to avenge their village by defeating the bandits that raised it with a little help from Rock here. Being a bird superhero type doesn't necessarily mean you can fly. And now, we're gonna make some preparations before we head onto that boat to Moor Ardain. It will be done before we're done here today. First of all, there's the beastly core crystal. Soon, very soon. I wanna say something else about it. Up until Rock has been awakened, it's not possible for the beastly core crystal to be available. It's based on that story progress as well as your playtime since obtaining it. Any playtime where the game was left sitting idle does not count. It must be reading inputs for that time to be accepted. First of all, there is a quest in the Lemur Inn. This is one of my personal favorite side quests, but be warned, it's impossible to complete without Keen Eye Level 2 and Nopon Wisdom Level 2. Odds are the Nopon Wisdom Level 2 is already taken care of with Poppy, but I've yet to get a single blade with Keen Eye. And I am acutely aware of this fact. I cannot play this side quest. Instead, we're going up to the Goldmuth Flight Deck. And we're you. And we're you. I freaked out so much when she actually said, and we're here. I was going to say normally, but that's kind of mean. Uh, but you know what I mean, where it didn't sound like, and we're you. Back in Ursula's heart to heart. And we're here. Yeah, that. I <laughs> I loved that thing. Like, it just, uh, I freaked out at that way more than I think any localization worker ever intended anyone to. Mine. Open up. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. Finally, we can see what's inside. It's a rare core crystal and a damage heal five. And then over by Budada, the cylinder artisan Treasure and this quiet. beautiful Do campfire that they probably copy. shouldn't be burning inside of an entirely wooden structure that is out on the seas and rocking around on the clouds, see? Eh? Finally, we see that there's what? That's amazing. That's a lot of money. Next up, our Merc group came back from their mission in Torigoth. Konjiki, the first blade that we ever got from Gramps' core crystal, is a more special blade than I think most players know. He cannot be released because he's Rex's default blade when Pyra is out of the party if you have not awakened a single other core crystal on Rex by the time that happens. So they weren't doing that out of the kindness of their hearts giving you a free blade. They just didn't want the game to break if you weren't proactive with opening core crystals. Oh, the next mission I want to go on wants Keen Eye. Rubbing it in, rubbing it in. We're gonna work on our Merc group ranking because Rock's growth depends on it. They were kind enough to make Rock's favorite items not go away just because he's been reawakened. But we do have some other favorite items to see. Back over in Torigoth, we're gonna talk to Troz. And pick up a Torigonda. I'm gonna whack you with my Torigonda. Give me the Torigonda. What a splendid instrument. Shall I sing you something? I can't make fun of that. Over at the Cosmopolitan Mutant of Arc, I'm gonna buy any old crap. Because Ursula girl, you don't need it to look fabulous, you already do. We should dress Barry up as well. If you need any tips about makeup, just ask. I love the idea of that. Fine, we'll, we'll get you makeup in the future for Barry. Because <laughs> you don't need it. But Barry, he's all right. And because she wasn't already on my good side enough... Ah, that hits the spot. Ursula is just a character that I don't mind using that much, even if she is not the best healer in the world. For the curious types, these are Rex's arts uh, that he gets with uh, Rock. I guess he wouldn't be low on health that much being a low aggro attacker in most situations, so you can take... Well, I'm, what are the cooldowns on this? Oh, that is 11 cooldown? Yeah, take Vortex Edge. I'm pretty sure that's faster anyway. What's the greatest rule on this channel? No, not equip damage up. Boulder Bore Gate is a good skip travel point. Is what I would say if it weren't for the real number one. The correct answer is go to places that are exclusive to cutscenes normally. In the brigands hideout, they were hiding a secret stash. Come and you thought those bumbling on. idiots with no peripheral vision in the military were gonna be able to pick this stuff up? You're Seriously, their mind. outfits are as prohibitive as possible for them being able to shoot things well. Pouch expansion kit. Uh, wow. Bandits sure make a lot of money. 
For the pouch expansion kit, we gave one of them to Tora to help him out due to only having one blade. I would say the next most important would be whoever you're going to be playing as the most, and that's going to go to Rex. Sparkle Sugar. Ooh, let's rest the spell. Next is the so, Gate of Fonsa Mima. Yeah, I know there's pop-in after skip traveling. Some people have complained about this, saying that it's shoddy craftsmanship, though, but a lot of games like Mass Effect do this, and I think it's just kind of a divide in opinion where... Yeah, it does look bad, but you also get to play like 10 seconds sooner if it just doesn't look quite as nice when you get to start. I don't know. It's it's weird. I could see people feeling either way, though, but I'm not that bothered by it. It's over quickly. Olivio! My nap on chess set broke. I found it on the street, so it's not like it was in perfect shape to begin with, but it's proper ruin now. Well, I guess we got a lot of use out of it for something we got for free. Now, I'm not going to let this get me down, you know. I'll just enjoy myself fishing instead. But my pal I always played it with, he's getting pretty depressed. So I figure I'd better catch a big one and hope it cheers my friend right up. Ah, trying to catch a big chess set. I can respect that. Ooh, By giving priority to those Merc so, missions in Argentum help. like I did, we now can buy Nopon chess sets normally in the Nopox Hobby Store. Yeah, sure, I'll take him up on this Settlers of Catan clone recommendation. Silly me, it was the Coral Nopon chess set that we wanted. At this point, I might as well see if you have a deed. No, you do not, but I'm filthy rich. It's okay. The difference between this guy is that board games are awesome and books aren't. Something wrong. My up on chess set broke. Hang on, is that? That's a nop on chess set! And made of coral, even! Oh, wow, I'm really jealous. Those only came out just recently. Meh. <laughs> No! Uh, oh, no, I, I pressed that. Oh. Well, that's what I get for uh, bringing back that old tired thing. Really? I can have it? Wow, thanks! My dad's a soldier, so uh, he never comes home lately. Oh, wow. Man, this was made to make me feel as bad as possible for trying to say no and then not doing it. And my mom won't give me any pocket money because she wants to save up cash in case war breaks out. And I mean, we live on Torika Alley, so we were never exactly well off to begin with. Seriously, thanks for this. Me and my pal will treasure it forever. What that does is not immediately clear. But who knows? Maybe the chivalry will come back to you someday. Because this made so many people, myself included, scream their ever-living heads off, we're going back to the Stonegate Ruins. Because right over by this tombstone, I was like, hey, is there a treasure chest this was leading us over to? Nope. It was just a few Roll smudgy on. brown pixels on the screen. I couldn't see. Uh, spinel chip. Huh, that's a little helpful. Well, now you can be better than me. Dromark! That's no way to treat a lady! I came in here to switch around our skills and whatnot, and then I see this atrocious display. And Barry's even holding her in place and making her take it, ugh. Them darn furry animals. They're all in cahoots, I tell ya. <laughs> More like capoots, am I right? No. Uh, we need to... <laughs> That was so lame even for me, oh my god. I wanted to go in here and uh, see what we could learn. <laughs> Extending topple duration is definitely a goal. Uh, we can go for this skill. Nice one. And now we can finally get level three skills. I can't believe I really said that. Uh, Nia, I want your extended break duration. You can take your max HP increase. Hey, we didn't do half bad. Tora's still saving up. He'll get there one day. In the art enhancement department, I'll take a spinning cutter increase. I'll save up a little longer for sword bash. Don't need rolling smash leveled up that badly. Healing halo. Nia, get off the bench. Off the bench now, come on. Good, okay, you know better than that. Anyway, this actually, what is it with our cats spazzing out, holy crap. Dromark, you're better than this! What are you doing? Even Tora! I'm not calling you an animal, bud! Get over here. Jeez. Okay. I was going to say that I... This went by faster than expected. We had a pretty easy time of things, so I thought we could take a breather and just see Fonsamima Port in the evening, because I like the site quite a lot, too. And just to say thank you. 
This has been a long journey so far, and I felt like it's going really well, and I appreciate so many of you keeping up with it. I know that this has been a lot of videos, very long videos, so thanks for giving your time to it. Speaking of Fonsamima Port, I picked up a Hunter's Chemistry 2 from a chest around there, one of the absolute best ox cores we have seen yet. Indoor attack up 2 could be good. I'll refine an HP attack boost too as well. The HP attack boost would be a good effect on Ursula considering every time we switch over to her we're getting insta-healed. No matter what she does when attacking we'll probably get this as long as we're not almost dead. Actually no, Percival, you know what you can wear? You can wear the massive melee Mithra, go for it. 7% critical rate. <laughs> Man, everyone's gonna be sweating in this thing before Mithra even gets a chance to wear it. Serves her right. Hunter's Chemistry 2, you can go on Electra. With all that done, that went faster than I expected. Now we set sail off to the land of bad guys. Uh, maybe don't say that too loudly. Friends finished business. We ready to depart for more Ordain now. All set. Let's go. Then hop on and safe travels. I am three feet away from my screen and I spat on it from this distance. Welcome to the Empire of Morardane! <laughs> Sorry, it does things to me! Finally we made it! So good to be on land again! It was a pretty long voyage. Thank goodness we didn't have to see any of that. This is a place seemed more empty than Poppy expected though. Most likely because this is a small porch, separate from the main city. That must be it. So, I suppose the next task is to journey to the capital? From what I hear in the sh heard in the ship, uh, if we just head out of the port to the right, it should be a straight path there. Not too far off, then. Still, this is our first time in this country, so we'd better keep our wits about us. Agreed. It might be best to make preparations before we head out. Make preparations and don't you dare go play in Tiger Tiger on me when there's music that's good to be listening to! You're all and Angam number two, Doc! Uh, fortitude, fortitude. Crossette's got some of that, right? Well, uh, my blade luck sure has been turning around because we can't actually get this right now. Uh, we need to have Korra's level two lock picking, but we also need fortitude on two separate blades. I won't let you down. It don't work. I'll take fish. That's fine choice, good sir. No, it's not. How nice it must be to not remember that you're bottom tier. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. Corwin. That's a cool name. I actually kind of like that. Hello, friend. His mom looks like a zombie, just hinging her arm forward again and again and again. Hey, listen. Me and mom and dad are all moving to Indol soon. Hmm, I wonder if you can get Cloud Sea crab sticks in Indol too. Having to leave my friends behind is bad, but having to leave my favorite foods behind can be even worse. Yeah, I know. I heard when a country's business is booming, they trade more with other places and you can get imported goods. So, we just have to buy lots of stuff and make the business in and all do great. Yeah, you too can support an entire economy by yourself. Hey, it's what the delusional rich think of the poor when they say it's our responsibility to keep them in business. Timel, 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 hey. There aren't any ships leaving for Indol for a fair while. You'll bore yourselves to death if you hang around here, so I suggest paying a the capital a visit. Just head out of port in Angam and follow the path straight. Looks like we're not going to be going anywhere for a while, and we might as well see the capital while we're here. Or we could go salvaging. Man, I got mad at you guys for playing Tiger Tiger right away. I'm going to ruin the music by doing this. Time for some treasure hunting. Ah! That's what it said. Right. This looks Ooh, like something sunset! Good. Perhaps the sunset of my life, too, looking at this. 
Oh no, you're not that high level. You're fine. Legendary item though. Thunder compass. You don't stand a, a pretty useful thing to have in real life, actually. Look at this! Launch! Oh, go, 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 Nina, go, go, go! No, it's not gonna quite happen in time. That's okay. Finchy! That was cool. We finished them off with that too, so we got a bonus experience points. Manage your bonus experience. Finish them off with level three blade combos. Finish them off with fusion combos. Do stuff like that. Chain attacks. Anything cool that you can finish off an enemy with will give bonus experience points, and that stuff adds up. I've been doing chain attacks or level three blade combos at the end of virtually every boss fight, and I almost never go without leveling up. It's so worth it to do. Fad hail. I mean, fads usually fail, not hail, long term. Welcome to the Empire of Moradain. To reach the capital of Alva Kavanich, just follow the path right there. The path terminates in the cargo transportation zone. From there, take the elevator to reach the city proper. Yes, sir. Gotta talk with the proper dialect around these parts. Otherwise, they hang you. Ah, why Army of Moradain not more speedy? If things like go go like this, my precious cargo spoil before it reached the capital. Oh, I'm sorry they forgot it. Oh, uh, with my what well, my eyes see, if not driver with time to spare. Dear driver, me have a request. Now this I have to hear. She's getting ready to punch his lights out. Stuff will arrive here in Port Aganam, uh, get taken to Alba Cavanich via downtown High Street, over Yawn. But right now, cargo transportation is infested with Landvolve and Noog Skeeter. Not safe for working. I ask Ardanian soldiers uh, there to help with mop up, but it looked like it takes some time still. Make a long story short, friends look like they're ready to go anytime. P Day Day ask friends for help. If friends perform in speedy manner, friends receive ample reward. It very good deal, yes? Tora want to help out. Should be easy for Tora and friends. Speedy decision, wonderful. Well then, please go beat up the nasty Landvolve and Nuke Skeeter in Cargo Transportation Zone. Well then, please proceed speedily. We'll give it our best shot. Sounds like we're doing some fight. You know what fights need? A beastly core crystal. Talk. This is that blade that that Arachno was using all that time ago. We took it from her. You were awakened for Rex, as I really like the combination that you have with him. It sounds fun. I could get 115 auto attack and 20% crit rate, or I could take 80 with a 31% crit rate. Or I could take 104 with a 25, that's totally the right option. What does the Amethyst chip give? Dexterity by 50. Nah, we're fine on dexterity. This is around the point where rexterity isn't too much of an issue anymore. You'll see what I mean a, li a little bit later, but trust me, not very worth it to go for. Wolfric likes... I love this. Sorry, Wolfric loves staple foods. You know, we monsters have made great strides in the history of literature. Thank you. It's been too long. How did you know exactly what I wanted? And then his favorite item, one of the two. Can I eat it now? I cannot resist. <laughs> I didn't know he said that. That is a starter item from Fishy Fishy in Argentum Trade Guild. Hey, nobody's perfect. Of course, I'm gonna ignore all that and just pop a Narsapair jelly because I took the time to buy 10 more of these now that we're swimming in cash. And now that we've used it to buy desserts, we're swimming in dough. Wolfric has two ox core slots. Pretty decent start. He can take an HP attack boost. 
And sure, the hunter's chemistry because we're not using Electra right now. I wanna check down below deck real quick. Yes, treasure trove down here. You're all mine. Not a particularly helpful one. Now with all that crap out of the way, let me shut up and let you hear the badass version of The Price is Right. What have we here? Dude, you know what this sounds like? No, not only a badass version of The Price is Right. It sounds like the what final case in a Dong and Rampa game, you know, where they get the whole guitar going, it's like, wah, nah, 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 nah. those of you that have played it know exactly what I mean. Why do I always do that same riff whenever I'm talking about guitar? Um. I don't really know why. Uh, Mega Lance, this is our first time getting one of these on Rex, so I want to have the Break Art in the first slot. Stronghorn will uh, go with our HP attack buff, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, stacking with that. Heavy Hitter will reduce aggro upon landing a hit, and this is increased damage to insectoids. I don't particularly want that, let's just get into some fighting with a noob Skeeter. You put your feet up over there. All right, Gramps. Wolfric is gonna start out strong right away because this is the only other blade besides Pyra that has a critical damage up effect. His skill critical strike does just that. His critical chance worth it more than on your average blade. Critical damage is an insanely good way to boost damage. It uh, It's not like double damage or anything, it's about 1.25 I think it is, but just the fact that it multiplies damage last, uh, with the number of multipliers you can have over your damage, such as, you know, multiplying the um, um, amount done at a high HP twice, like I have done, it can add up to a lot. Second, he has Power Unleashed. A very generous attack on how much it buffs by, even at level one, and not hard at all to reach. I already have my golden thread thanks to Hunter's Chemistry and just playing normally. Here we see his level one special, Brutal Lance. A bunch of hits one after another, and it does increase damage to topple the enemies. Another damage increase that he has is having a break art on Rex. By just having that break art going, he's likely to get bonus damage out of fusion combos on a regular basis. He's great. And then his last skill is probably the least good of the three. This one just simply gives him increased damage to toppled and launched enemies. But the thing about that one is that it's still decent. A lot of those types of abilities only will affect one or the other. Rarely both. Be due to it affecting both, it actually makes it come in handy a lot, especially with him breaking enemies and likely to get a topple from a teammate. It's good stuff. His specials also play off of his abilities remarkably. His level one special had further increased damage to topple enemies, and this level three that we just saw, 14 hits with an increased critical chance on every hit. Come out, come out. Dolphin Carrot, one of my favorite item names. It will help, I think. I love just how friggin' bizarre these item names are. If you're gonna have all these weird, nondescript I'm items sure that the player the never sees great. and their use isn't really clear, get weird with it. It's all you can do, man. Just get creative and weird. Tumbly Tumbly Tora? I'd like to do his level four special here if I can. Oh cool, multiple targets. Looks like we're gonna get our wish. We haven't seen his level 2 yet, let's start with that. Woo! Chest laser and you're not even a girl! Might be a series first. Termination Blast seems like it would be his worst special because it's ether based and all the others are physical. Pay attention to that pierce damage effect. That ignores all defense and hardly any specials have that. That alone makes it still worth using. Lightning Quake Break! So good they had to make it rhyme. Tori, you go for it. Wolfric's gonna do the level two of this with his level four. Just cause he's an overachiever like that. There we go, art spamming. The recharging like mad with our double pouch items on Rex. I kinda wish I went for him sooner instead of Tora now. Um, I know that that was not the most popular of decisions that I made though, but it, it worked out okay. Oh, you might actually die before you get a chance to see this. 
I'm so sorry you will never have the privilege of living to see this level 4 special. Let's go for it. Yes. Let's finish it here and now. Whoa, cool. Clean clean. Ah! That was cool! All of his little specials, one after another. Let's go for a Gaia qu Crash Break. Gaia Crash Break. Probably should be switching to Pyre to topple these guys, but this is a Wolfrix game. Wolfrix level four special, fittingly called Apocalypse, is probably his best special. Six hits, he has increased critical chance, and it further increases his critical damage. There's that good synergy with his specials all over again. He's just such an easy blade to use. You don't have to think about his effects that much. They're passive enough, and they'll trigger pretty much automatically. He just hits really hard under very easy to fulfill conditions. Heck, we had a top of the launch right there. Before I can even get out of this, chain attack, because we're just going to be mean to this thing. Yeah! His level one special hits so many times. Very satisfying attack. I'm pretty sure Finch wanted to use her level. No, I think maybe Dromark. I know someone wanted a level one special on Nia. It would help if I remembered who. It would also help if I was lucky. Come on. Oh, oh that's Poppy spinning slash. No a steam belt and a cobalt awesome. chip. That's a Next new chip, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and they dropped Hunter's Chemistry too. I had a cousin once who pronounced this gold boy, and I thought it was so funny that he, he mistook the C for a G and the a lowercase L for an I at the same time. I made fun of him for that one for years. I think I even called him my golden boy as a way of making fun of him for it. Uh, that lowers his critical rate, but that's a pretty good attack. I think I'll stick with what I got for right now. Just because I love his critical damage so much. You should be wearing the massive melee Mithra. We're just going to get everyone's tootsies into this thing before she even gets to wear it. I want the Hunter's Chemistry, the HP attack boost can go. 31%. Percival will take the critical up one, I guess. Hey, I'm back now. I hope things went well. Not a moment too soon, the Shadow Puppets are back with our contracts. Bye-bye, Azami. You're going off on another mission to get us another contract. Latest craze. We only have a few more to take out, and really, the only negative thing I can really say about Wolfric is that the stats he gives to his driver aren't that great. He gives 15% more strength and 5% more on both defenses. Pretty weak, honestly. That sums him up pretty well, actually. He's all damage, no utility. Wolfric is so good that he's even used in speedrunning in categories where cross sets not allowed. And with that, another Cobalt Ship. Oh, I might as well use it if it's really that common of a drop and we have to kill so many of these things. Take it. No longer a knight, but a duelist. How does that sound cooler? Let me make something clear. The knight theme isn't bad. It just ain't a fucking bop! Oh, friends return! Everything's fine now! <laughs> that's Wolf, that's right, Wolfric. Everything's taken care of. Oh, capable drivers really in class of own when it comes to speediness. Time is money, and that means speed is more money. Value of life measured by contents of bank account. Meh. Is that right? And so, having said why, why saying, Pidede departs speedily to deliver wares to Alba Kavanich. No time for idle prattle. Thanks, friends. Insect Hunter 2 and a decent amount of golden experience and SP. Not the best quest. All around pretty good. Pyra and Wolfric and Compassion. And that's it. Wolfric's level 2 skills. My heart beats faster. Oh, you're one of those. You want to kill a unique monster. First time that we're seeing this on an affinity chart node. We have to go do that ourselves. We can't just do it in a Merc mission. Oh, you want to know another thing about Wolfric? Look at this. All three of his field skills, Focus, Earth Mastery, and Super Strength, all very useful field skills, and they all have five levels. You're just so good, man. With him around, I feel like I almost never have to change my team setup. Four said field skills. Wolfric wanted four it staple foods. Kind of strength. And two books. I need to inform you of something very sad. This world is criminally devoid 
of pictures of Wolfric sitting in a fancy armchair by a fire in a bathrobe reading a book. I'm just saying. All right, Pyra leveled up. Sorry, Wolfric was just so good and had the same effect That's as you. What, call on me anytime. She would be crushed. Her fire mastery is now level three. She wants to hunt an enemy in Morodan called the Bafu Crust Tip, and besides that, it's just playing normally on everything. Let's try this power out next time. One step closer to becoming real blade. Poppy Alpha doing very well. She still can't unlock this, whatever it may be, but everything else is full. Well, we made all sorts of progress, not just in the story sense, but we got a lot stronger in many different ways. We made it to Morardane, we met some of the locals, we found out we're gonna be stuck here for a little while. Enemy territory. And uh, we met a new blade to... Fine, see if I turn to you for protection in this harsh wilderness. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, uh... Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we're, aha! Uh... I can't do it. We're going to make our way to the Ardanian capital. See you guys then. Ha! Ah! That was poorly judged. Watch out next time.